Yeah. No. No, it's Other usually just the beaten floor, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, usually. So one of the hard rain floor for some reason. But yeah. You never know. So living under a house. Um, and we've got another little building up there which seems to be separate. And then probably a separate one again down there where we're digging. Yes, that's what, that's, I can see you've got a corner there, haven't you? Yeah. Is that a house, do you think? Yeah, definitely. That's a house. Yeah. Got a hearth in it. What were the things you got in the plastic bags? I saw they were, they'd steamed up a bit with the sun coming right, out yeah. of them. Uh, I didn't like to poke around too much. We've got, uh, we had a little copper button this Was morning. Was it metal? Co yeah, copper, copper alloy uh -huh. button. And um, some, an iron object as well, because you can't really work out what it was. It's really corroded. Um, had a couple of thimbles from this trench. A couple of thimbles. You say yeah. symbols. <laughs> I'm going to say musical crafters. <laughs> Yeah, a couple of symbols. symbols. Um, um, copper alloy copper. again. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. But um, yeah, this is the hearth. Yeah. Um, and it looks like it might have had two phases of use. This it burnt there. It's also burnt and here. There. So yeah. It's hard to work out. But, but yeah, it looks like it was originally bigger, and then they've shortened it. Something. So that would have been a hearth as, as in the centre of the house. Central, oh, central I hearth. Yeah. And then it had a wall. This is just the stub of a wall that was built over it, over one end of it. But some of the later stage. Yeah. So the house probably went out of use then, or maybe, maybe they built the wall when this part of the house, the hearth went out. They, they abandoned this part of the house and continued to use that side of it. I'm not really sure. That's a hearth. Yes. Yes. up a trench at the end because Graham thought there might be a fireplace in the gable and yeah. well, he was right it had been blocked up but there was a, there's a fireplace there we know just with a hot slab in front of it like a modern fireplace yeah yeah um and plaster on the walls and so that would have been probably oh, quite a posh house and probably also built pretty late yeah a lot more recent well before the clearances but um probably in the early 1800s still pre-clearance with plaster on the walls yeah yeah mm -hmm. Yeah, very unusual to find that, yes, but um, yes. yeah, I mean, this whole, everybody was chucked out of here yeah. in 1841, so um, it has to be before that. But it was somebody who had newfangled ideas about fireplaces they weren't having there. So it's really quite complicated from just looking at things on the ground. It looks like it's two, maybe even three buildings that are roughly in line, but then when we surveyed them and you look at the survey results, you can actually see they're kind of slightly kinking as it go along. So it suggests they were built in different phases and there might have been, you know, houses of people who were related to each other and you know, extended family or something like that <coughs> who expanded their living quarters as time went on. It's just a just a guess. But um, the trenches there were pretty interesting. We opened one in uh, inside kind of what seems to be the largest building. Um, and just in the middle and across the wall, or across what looked like, looked like an entrance. And we thought we might catch a hearth in there. There was a big stone visible, but it turned out to just have tumbled there. Um, but it, it did, did turn out to be a pretty interesting trench. And the other trench we opened in the kind of lower part, which seems to be a separate building. Um, so the first trench, uh, we did get the entrance, and we got some lovely paving kind of outside the entrance and stepping up into it and then coming down into the inside of the building. Unfortunately, it's been robbed out probably what, after the house was cleared, so they, they pulled up some of the flags and used probably in nearby dikes, or they would have been good stones, so they could just took what they needed. So you can see, it was, it was, it was, still, it was still interesting, you could see where the, where the paving survived. It was very well set, very kind of tidy, and then it had been kind of mucked about with at the edges inside. So it's hard to know that there could be quite a lot of it, you know, surviving elsewhere in the building, but it's, it's impossible to know without opening opening more trenches. Um, but I would think that the paving, the paving says to me it was probably used for animals, because if you've got animals coming in out of a building, you want a hard surface. Um, so just a guess at this, mo this point, but I think it might have been a buyer, that part. Um, and the other trench was, was very interesting. Um, <coughs> Again, we opened that in the hopes of finding a hearth, because the hearth is the kind of you know, center of the house, and it's where people spent a lot of their time. So it's gonna, what you find there is going to tell you a lot about how they lived, what they used in the house, and so on. And um, 
that that trend really really turned up trumps. We, we did get a hearth. Um, uh, sort of typical central hearth for a Highland longhouse. Uh, I say typical, but not not huge numbers of them have been found. But it's it's in keeping with the ones that have been found. It was um, <coughs> just flat, set in the floor in the middle of the house, and uh, just built of flat stones with a kind of curb around it. Um, and uh, it actually looks like it's sitting on an earlier hearth, a very similar construction that runs right underneath it, a slightly different angle. Um, and both of them were just where the fires had burned, very, the stone was very spalled and crumbly and red from the heat. So maybe when the, f the first hearth just got so crumbled, they just thought, well, we'll slap another one on top. <laughs> um, and, and then it, in time, that even the second hearth went out of use they built a wall over, well, over the the end of it, really, over the end of the earlier, over the earlier hearth and over the end of the later hearth. Um, so it's, that suggests that the house stopped being used as a house. They were um, using it for, for something else, and they didn't need the hearth anymore. Or maybe they moved the hearth to a totally different place in the house and carried on using it. Um, and the things we found inside were, were really interesting, around, right around the hearth. Um, Pottery and glass, the usual, usual finds of pottery and glass, but also a couple of thimbles and a button, a little copper alloy button. Um, and pieces of kind of burnt limestone that just, they work like chalk. You can actually draw with them like chalk. And it could be they were you know, used for dressmaking, and there was somebody in that, they lived in that house that uh, was busy making clothes for his or her family or pe other people in the township, and kind of a dressmaker. So those were the, those, those, that was really very nice to find the hearth, the, the, especially the two phases of hearth, because that also suggests that uh, that house was in use for quite a while, you know, and long enough for one hearth to wear out and another one to be built, and then for that to go out of use. Um, so it's, it's hard to say how long.